Today on Papa's Projects, we've got a surprise. We are running our upstairs three and a half ton main air conditioner on this off-grid 12 kilowatt low frequency grow watt. And we only have 35 panels connected to this right now, 250 watts. So we are running that. Um, tried doing this a couple weeks ago when I first got it, but this was already set at 240. And I didn't take a look on the air conditioner. It was 208 or 230. So it didn't want to fire up for me. I was spending like two hours playing with that thing. So I went out there today and I, when I originally put wire from the garage over to, the, to that area over there, I ran a 10 gauge wire so that I could run 208, um, 220, 230, 240, whatever I needed over there. I would be able to handle it with the wire. So I already had the wire. All I had to do was connect the wire from here over to a junction box, an AC uh, disconnect down there. And then that wire runs over there and I put it on another AC disconnect temporarily uh, until I can permanently wire it up. But right now, Running that, I have my air conditioner upstairs. It's 74 degrees now. I've been running it for about 20 minutes. It was 78. And this, I'm running 2.39 kilowatts. My battery's at 56. I've got a 17% load on this 12 kilowatt. And my amps are 40, 42, 43 amps that I'm running on that. And that's all I'm running on there. So it's pretty around 40, 42 amps to run that three and a half ton upstairs air conditioner for the whole upstairs. And we'll go take a look at that right now. If we go out here see when I ran this I ran four dedicated lines over here I ran one there one there one there and then one right over here so I temporarily put in the AC disconnect right here and I wired that up so I could have a good connection there with those wires and this is just two wires um, there's no third wire on this application. So I'm running this and I've got that just temporarily connected to that up there. I will actually punch that out right there and run like that in there. Make sure I have that connected properly and anchor it to the wall. But I have my AC disconnected for my grid so that I'm actually running this three and a half ton um, vented. This has all my vents into my rooms and everything upstairs. This is actually running off of that solar panels, like 34, 35 of those solar panels, 250 watts. And I can hook like 70 panels up. And you see, I was only at like 16, 17% of my load. So that's a four ton over there. I should be able to fire that thing up and I'll have to get at least 50 panels on there to try and start this beast up. This is, that's a three and a half ton. That's a four ton. That's a 12 and a half ton um, pool heat pump. So that thing is probably i could probably get that thing to start up as well because i think that's right around 30 amps on here and uh, can't really tell i don't have my cheaters with me to see what the amps are um but i have plenty 
coming into that, I could probably, I could probably start this thing up with that. I'll play with that tomorrow. But I just want to let you know that I will be able to wire this in and then I'll have to have it wired in where I can come out here, pull the fuse on that one, pull the fuse on this one, and then turn the power on this one at the breaker box. And then I'll be able to run this off of the grid. So I'll have it connected so I can do that. And that way I can run it either or. So really excited. I knew a year and a half ago I wanted to get their six kilowatt low frequency off grid inverter for grow watt. But that 12 kilowatt is definitely going to be able to fire this beast up now that I see that it was just, it was the wrong voltage setting on the inverter that didn't want to start it up. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on that and I'll show you I had these these are connected but they're in the shade right now and what I have on there right now is those 16 panels on top of here those 15 panels right there and then the six panels right here on this shed and that is running that main air conditioner so i really never run my downstairs so <laughs> i'm not really worried about that one and actually the um i have two mini splits that actually do keep it extremely cold it keeps it like 66 68 degrees downstairs if i start those things up at like 7 7 30 in the morning so we will we'll keep this running and we're going to get the upstairs down to about 68 degrees 66 68 degrees and then i probably it's only 75 out today or 78 i'll be able to not even turn on my ac at all tonight and not even worry about it but if i need to i could always plug my mini splits in to the srp or the um, grid power and if I had to run them, I could run the, bath, the bedroom off of a mini split in the middle of the night. Um, but with a 75 degree high for the day, I doubt it's gonna be warm in the house tonight. So anyways, we're gonna run this for a while and then we might try and start this thing up over here. Please share, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell and I hope you have a truly wonderful and very blessed day.